second pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Ja Morant. Every posterizer Ja Morant gets is plus one upgrade. I have recreated Ja Morant and this replicates his build the most out of any build on the game. As you guys can see, our Ja Morant build is called a floor spacing slasher. By the end of this video, this Ja Morant build is going to be a demigod. 87% of you guys who watch my videos every day are not subscribed. If you are one of those people, click that subscribe button now and make sure you turn on my post notifications because I am doing weekly $100 cash app and paypal giveaways in my video congratulations 2k underscore inc you have won my first $100 weekly giveaway he said done clutch you're the best content creator and i love watching your videos you encouraged me to buy 2k yo 2k where's my cut at bro and i look up to you and he also said he's a loyal 2k inc i have responded to your comment and there is my gray verified check mark badge to know that it is really me all you have to do is reply with your cash app or your paypal and I will send you your $100. If you want a chance to win one of my giveaways, all you have to do is follow the rules on the screen. You must be subscribed to my YouTube channel with post notifications turned on. You must drop a like on this video and you must be following me on Instagram. When you have finished doing everything on the screen, make sure you comment done. Good luck to everyone who has entered. The next winner will be announced on February 13th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But please be safe out there and do not respond to any fake clothes up next YouTube channels pretending to be me. Remember y'all, I have a grave verified check mark next to my name. That is how you will know it is real and that it is really me. Our first opponent is a 99 overall floor spacing slasher. As a 60 overall, I'm gonna have to just say this, we gotta get lucky in our first game. Like, we have to get lucky to hopefully get a dunk. Oh my god, he missed! He missed his first shot. Let's see if we can get a dunk in our first pos- Oh no, he's already going to the paint. Why are you? Nah, he's dead. Oh my god, he's emoting. Please, why? Why take a layup? Why take a layup? No, we could have got a first dunk right there because he was emoting. Bro, come on. Like, Ronnie would only give me that animation, bro. I swear. I don't know exactly what our driving dunk is, but I just know it's insanely low. Okay, this kid. Oh my god, Loki gave us a lane. No, never mind. He didn't give us shit. I really feel like we can get a stop because the way this kid is playing, he just seems like he trolls around, emotes. I got to take advantage of whenever he emotes or something like that because I'm trying to get my overall up, all right? Let's see what we can do. Come on. Oh, my God. Please. Hey, nope. what? Come on. Bro, just got a foul. That would have been my first dunk. I'm really trying to think right now. How can I finesse just a simple dunk? Like, bro is camping in the paint. Bruh. Like, you're not even fun. All right, fuck it. Oh, my God. Oh! Wait! Does that count as a dunk? Oh, my God. Wait, now, y'all gonna flame me if y'all think I count that as a dunk. But, like, hold up. You know when you, like, you know, in real life... Oh! Oh! oh go! 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 Stop taking layups! I know y'all be on my head if y'all think that dunk will count, so I'm just gonna say it doesn't count. We're gonna play by the rules. Oh, my God. That's it! I don't even think he was really playing that possession, but that's our first upgrade. Now, until we get Precision Dunker, then we'll be able to get some really good posterizing dunks, contact dunks, just some really good shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, the crossover. Bitch! That's another upgrade. That's two. Give me two, dummy. Yes, sir. Y'all already know, man. Let's go. Wants me to dunk on him. Lay up, that's some weak ass shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. John Moran, hey, look, we're a 60 overall, but I believe in some crazy shit. You feel me? Even though we are cold right now, I feel like for our first game as a 60 overall, playing against a 99 overall, having two legit dunks, I'm not gonna count that other one. So right now we're at two, it could be three. For my first game to have two legit dunks, I'll take that. Oh my God. Bro, this kid just shot the ball from so deep. Hold on, it ain't never over yet. It ain't over yet. Oh my goodness! If I just knew how to time this dunk meter, we could be getting more overalls, bro. I'm here. Board that. There's no way. Hey, man. For our first game, I'll take it. Obviously, the first thing we're gonna have to upgrade is our driving dunk. Now, we can upgrade this until we get to a 62 overall. Let's see where we end up at. Okay, we get an 82 driving dunk just off two overalls, which is gonna help us out so much. Let's upgrade this, and let's get right back into the game. Um... 
we're gonna need to buy some more VC. All I ask for you guys to do is to drop a like on this video because I just go through so much VC in every single video. It's yours. Thanks for your purchase. Now go have some fun. Our second game, we're playing against a 92 overall perimeter threat. I feel like I might be able to get a few dunks off on this kid, but um, we are just gonna have to... F oh my... Yo, bro, just pushed me out the way like I weighed two pounds. Let's see what type of defense he's gonna play. Um... Oh my god, we got him! Hey, let's go! That's another upgrade! Come on, man, that's a great way to start off this game. We got another upgrade, our first possession. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, yeah, this kid is weird. He is sitting under the rim. We gotta get a contact dunk. Oh, yo, it's possible. No, it's actually possible. I'm gonna do it. If this kid keeps sitting... Wow, he made a 7% contested shot. If this kid keeps sitting under the rim, I'm gonna dunk on him, literally. He don't believe in me. He don't believe in me. He don't believe in us. God did and won. Stupid. I'm actually mad. That kid just took away my dunk, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was gonna be a dunk, but he contested it, and it, like, took me out of the dunk and gave me a layup, you know? Go, John Wright. Go. Go. He's not even playing. Why? He's not playing. That's another upgrade. That's our second upgrade this game. This is my last opportunity to get a dunk. He's at 19 points. Go. Oh, my God. It was, oh, like, it's just impossible, bro. This kid has really good defensive stats. Like, it's, it's gonna be impossible. He probably greened that, too. He greened it. Let's keep upgrading our driving dunk until we get to a 64 overall, and we can only bring this to an 89 driving dunk, which now allows us to get contact dunk. I think it's time I give y'all boys another story time. I've been seeing the comments. Y'all been asking for more, so I got y'all. This past August, it was me and my nine other boys went to Florida and just have a guy. Oh! Yeah, John Morant! Talk to me! Ah! That's... Oh! That, oh, my God. That just caught me so off guard. Now, the fact that I'm at 1% of takeover is insane. Like, bro, that should have been a whole... Bitch! Come on! Stop playing with the kid! That's two upgrades just like so! So, as I was saying, it was a pretty big group. It was me and my nine friends. We went down to Florida to have a really good guy's vacation. I don't know how many of y'all have ever done that before, but we're all now at the age 20, 21 plus. Like, we're just trying to go have a great time in Florida and just turn up, really, before the new school year would start. Now, I was the one that was booking everything. Booking all the flights, booking nope. the Airbnb, and I don't mind doing that at all. Nope. It's fine, you know, I just, you know, it's fine. It's just kind of annoying because you got to organize everything. And to be honest, it's just doing a lot of extra work. Oh, my goodness. He's giving me a free dunk. Come on, bro. That's another upgrade. That's three already. As I was booking this Airbnb, me and the guys decided that we wanted to get something that was on the beach. We weren't trying to get something off the beach where you got to get up, drive, and then park the car, and then chill the day at the beach, and then drive back. No, we wanted something where we... Bro, nah, this kid's giving me great opportunities to get posterizers, bro. I swear. So as I was looking for good Airbnbs, we didn't care if it was a house or if it was a condo or even if it was like a hotel. We just wanted something that was, a you know, a pretty fair price. Give me another dunk. That's another upgrade. That's number four. Come on, John Morant. We turned up this game. I ain't gonna lie. After searching for a few days, I finally came across a pretty fair pricing on the beach resort. You know what I'm saying? Now, this resort was very, very strange. Now, the reason why it was strange is because whenever I was looking at it on the website, it, it looked really good. It looked beautiful. You know, it was like a picture perfect place to be at with the boys. You know, it was like an 11 or 12 story building. I wouldn't call it a hotel. I wouldn't call it an apartment. Now, I would call it an apartment. It was literally like an apartment. It was like a three building apartment complex that was like 12 stories high on the beach right there it was just beautiful right it was perfect and for the price it was very reasonable like i actually was like damn this is right on the beach i am willing to spend this this guy's trip is going to be filled with memories that last a lifetime and that's honestly all i look for that's all i care about nope. man is making memories because you feel me life is short make the most of it come on john Rand, let's get another posterizer oh my he did not just try to do that between the legs oh my god we don't even have vertical upgraded the next thing we got to upgrade is vertical i don't even care about stamina give me vertical bro so as i was looking on the website this place looked picture perfect almost looked too good to be true and y'all boys know how it is when you're looking online for something you know it usually looks way better than what it is you feel me that's just damn 
That's number five. Talk to me nice. Yes, sir. So I go ahead and I run by in the group chat and I'm like, hey, y'all, y'all boys like this price. You guys like this spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to get everybody else's opinions because you feel me? Everyone else has to put their say in if they want to spend this much and if they want to be at this location and if this place looks good. So, of course, I send it to the group chat. Nope. They all confirm it. They're like, oh, yeah, we're going to be so lit. It's going to be crazy. So everything is all booked at that one place that I was talking about, the place that had like 12 stories. It was like a 12 story apartment. A month goes by and it is now, oh my goodness, we are just climbing up there and yamming on this kid's head top. That's number six. Stop playing with me. Hold up. Let me get another stop. We could almost win this game low key. This kid has the weirdest strategy of all time. Who plays like this, bro? Nah, nah, nah. D yo, why is he playing like this? Hell no. Yeah, come on. Give me this. Oh my God, I'm off cold too. Go. Come on. Step back. Come on, John Murray. Go. Go, John Murray. Go. No stamina. This is bad. Fuck. Wait. Is it possible to get a post riser while being cold? I got the rebound. Lay and one. Yes, sir. We got six dunks that game and a crazy post riser. I will take that. Damn, we're going to get to go from a 64 overall all the way up to a 70 overall after just one game. Now, that's a blessing. All right, that was a really good game. Let's finish out this driving dunk. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're at a 67 overall now. We get a 94 driving dunk. Now, the next thing we got to do is upgrade vertical. I don't care. Vertical is going to be huge, and it's going to allow us to get as many contact dunks as we can. With maxing out our vertical and driving dunk, we're at a 69 overall which gives us one more overall to upgrade for and we're gonna upgrade for our stamina and we can get this all the way maxed out oh my god and then i put the remaining things that i need i put it on speed because we are pretty slow right now now i booked this about a month away from when we actually went to florida oh yeah i can tell we got that vertical up that's another upgrade y'all boys gonna have to count for me because i gotta get through the story so like i said a month goes by it is time we arrive in florida and we arrive at our place so when when we arrived to Florida, what we did was take an Uber from the airport to our apartment, right? And we were thinking nothing was wrong. Everything was good. Somehow we crammed nine people into a small ass Uber. Like that was a crazy experience as itself. There's not many cars or vehicles that can fit nine people unless you're on some like bus, right? So I had to take one for the team and I took my ass to the trunk. Like that's literally what happened. I was in the trunk. We put all the suitcases on me. You know, it is what it is. You know, you got to go through certain things to, you know, make a great time time and i was all for it now when we're pulling up to this place we weren't really expecting anything except for what we seen on the internet right when we arrived to our destination we actually thought we were in the wrong spot because of what things looked like now what i'm trying to say is our place was under construction now whenever i say under construction that is the slightest amount of what i mean by under construction our entire apartment complex was being rebuilt nope. There was boards everywhere. Whenever I say boards everywhere, I mean every window was boarded up. It was like this building was just being created. It looked like this building was straight out of Fortnite, literally. It was wooden planks everywhere. We were so confused, and obviously the Uber driver doesn't know because he was not the one who purchased or looked at the building online. But from what we and my friend group looked at, we were like, is this the right place? Like, it shows, you know, we're in the right location. We're looking around like, is it a building tucked back behind like a different building? We were just looking for a 12-story apartment complex that looked, you know, finished like it did in the pictures but no we arrived to a goddamn construction site this entire building was being reconstructions whatever the word is this shit from the ground up I, was, I swear to god the entire bottom floor was all gutted out except just for construction tools wood planks roof tiles like everything you could think of construction it was in the bottom floor like got it out completely all doors were opened up there was like yellow tape around everything um, it was just like a lot of construction shits everywhere big ass dumpster bins hanging outside of the the uh the apartment whenever the construction people would work on the building they could just throw away a whole bunch of trash y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what a construction site looks like i'm already knowing there was these long ass cables these people had set up so that they could like take out the windows and shit and they were hanging off everywhere but what i do know is the picture shown on the website compared to what we stayed at was two different things i kid y'all not we contact the people and we we're like hey why is our building 
completely gutted out and being like renovated. The Airbnb owner said, go to the 12th floor. Your room is there. Here's the passcode. We're like, what? There's no way our room is in this gutted out construction ass 12 story apartment complex. No, I swear to God, this dude was messaging us back and forth saying, look, this building is under construction, but your guys' room is still okay and it's able to be used. We were like, what? Like, there's no way we are living in a construction zone for our entire guy's vacation. Like, there's no shot. I kid y'all boys not. Go find the elevator through this gutted ass place. I'm telling y'all, this entire building is being renovated. Like, everything is torn down. All the walls look like shit. There's nothing painted. There's no furniture anywhere it just looks gutted out as if you know you're about to rebuild and re remodel the building literally that's what it looked like we find the elevator we go to i think i think we were on floor 10 it was a, it was a 12 floor apartment we go to floor 10 because that's where he told us to go yeah we lost another game but we got a decent amount of dunks that game i'm not gonna lie i don't know how many dunks we got exactly i'm just gonna say we got five dunks because i'm pretty sure that's what we did get now we get to upgrade our build to a 75 overall let's max out our speed and then let's upgrade our acceleration until we can't no more okay okay we're at a 75 overall now but let's go until we literally can't go any further and let's upgrade our strength category how much further can we go we could bring our strength to a 38 once we get to a 50 people won't be able to bully us around so easily let's upgrade this and let's continue on we got 15 more dunks to go so as me and my boys pull up to the 10th floor with the passcode that this airbnb owner has given us we found our room okay now we're looking at this room and with just all confusion we are all like speechless right now thinking we're not even at the right place thinking we're getting trolled thinking we damn near got scammed you know what i'm saying we just got finessed thousands of dollars for an entire week to stay at a beachside resort that is being completely reconstruction renovated whatever you want to call it we get inside and we realize this place actually looks nice but it is the only room out of a 12-story apartment that is absolutely massive. I have pictures. I got videos. I'm going to be showing y'all on the screen if I haven't shown y'all already. Just so you guys can get a little visual of what we were working with, okay? Like I said, our room was completely normal for some whatever reason. Tell me why this shit is being completely gutted out, reconstruction. But the only room that is available is our room. We just so happen to be the only people for the entire week in this entire building put that into perspective this is a giant ass apartment complex 12 stories high so even though we low-key got click baited online we also were blessed in disguise now let me explain most people would have damn i just put his ass on the floor and my ass on the floor most people would have wanted a refund and don't get it twisted i definitely asked for my refund but he wasn't going for it we never got refunded the ac did not work the refrigerator did not work it came with no fans our entire place was at 80 something degrees the entire week okay now mind you it's fucking heat of the summer august it's hotter than shit we're in florida we're having a good time but there's no ac the refrigerator is broken so everything we had bought for the refrigerator got like went to shit um nothing stayed cold it was just a really bad experience when it comes to little things like that when you guys look at the upside of things let me tell you there was nobody in that freaking building it was me and my nine boys that was it the amount of noise we made the amount of fun shit we did didn't have to worry about nobody you know sending in a noise complaint i bought a big ass speaker a karaoke speaker from target for about 200 dollars, and we used that fucking speaker the entire trip every second of the day that fucking speaker was on and we were turning up the entire trip it was the most lit thing in the world so all in all whenever i look back at this whatever just happened i think to myself like damn did we get finessed but hold up if you guys think about it if this place was never under construction if this place had everybody else staying in it we would not have been able to do what we were able to do yes it did not look like a living condition yes it looks like we got clickbaited from what we saw online but the fact that we were able to be as loud as we possibly wanted from any time of the day like that was the best thing ever and the fact that we could have had a speaker on full volume i'm talking this fat ass speaker like this loud ass speaker not some little ass beat pill jbl pill speaker i'm talking a fucking big ass speaker with the sub that I was able to do some karaoke shit with the microphone and everything. Honestly, the worst part about this though, I can live without AC. 
I can live without a refrigerator, okay? You know, it is the summertime. It's not fun living in a, in a house that's, you know, 80 something degrees, but I can live with it, okay? You know, you just wear no shirt, you know, you just wear shorts and that's about it. But one thing I cannot stand is being interrupted in my sleep. Every single morning at 5 to 6 a.m., these people would be drilling on our fucking place, working, construction, from 5 to 6 a.m. all the way until 3 p.m. So every single day, we were woken up by the most annoying drilling sound ever. Just imagine the entire vacation. You know, it's lit. You're with your boys. It's great. You know, not only that you have no AC, no working refrigerator, no nothing, but you are waking up every single day to a whole team, construction team, just drilling in on your place. I'm telling y'all boys, it was one of the most weird experiences for me to ever nope. go on vacation, but I would never trade it for the world. For how weird it was, for how random it was, and for the good time we had, I will never trade it, bro. I would literally go back to that construction site again if I had the opportunity. Like, you guys just gotta understand this. Nine friends, you feel me? Nine friends in an apartment complex that's on 10 stories. Just imagine how loud we were. If we were around any other apartment complex that was not being under construction, we would have been kicked out. We would have got a noise complaint the first night, maybe two hours into our stay. Like, y'all gotta understand, it was a blessing. And honestly, it was one of the most fun trips, if not the most fun trip I have ever been on. But yeah, that is my crazy Airbnb experience. I've had a couple crazy Airbnb experiences. Um, Airbnb and I, we're not really that cool. You know, we've been having some beef over the past few years. Yo, nope. this is insane. Like, I cannot get a dunk on this kid. Um, He just sits in the paint. I know I was kind of ranting, mumbling, but like, nah, I just want y'all to like try to put yourself in my shoes with my boys. Like, like it was actually the most insane shit ever. Like, actually, it was so fun though. Let me know in the comments if y'all boys have had any crazy Airbnb experiences. Now, it could be with you, could be with you and your friends, could be with you and your parents, maybe your parents had a bad experience with them let me know if i'm not the only one because from when we saw the pictures we were like oh my god this place looks beautiful the beachfront you know we were lit it was like a skyscraper like our view was really good you know what i'm saying it was really nice but the fact that this entire building was under construction was just kind of crazy we were not expecting it at all but um you know all in all it was one of the most fun trips i had ever been on and uh it, it was just great okay we need to finesse uh more dunks out of this kid but it seems like it's really hard oh my god he jumped stupid we did exactly that come on now that's another dunk <laughs> got you but this kid is so dumb that's our four dunk this game that's what i'm talking about man come on that's it one more opportunity oh yeah Hey, that's our fifth dunk this game. Talk to me. Yes, sir. Now we can upgrade to an 80 overall. So let's upgrade our strength and max this out. Now we have a 50 strength, which is really good. I think I need to upgrade my three-point shot so people think I can shoot the ball. So then, you know, they'll think I can shoot, right? But whole time, I'm only going to dunk. And then I think what I'm going to do is put up speed with ball so we're not as slow as a turtle when dribbling. And uh, just like that. We're an 80 overall. Let's upgrade this build. All we need is 10 more dunks. Let's go, Ja. Let's go, Ja. Hey, come on, man. Let's start the countdown. That's one. I realize we got to dribble a little bit, make ourselves not look so predictable, and it opens up the lane. That's another dunk. That's number two. I do want to say, like I said, I read all my comments. If y'all boys got an idea for me, I will do it. This video right here is from y'all. What do y'all... A lot, yeah. God, I can't talk, bro. <laughs> a lot of y'all have been commenting for me to do every dunk is plus one upgrade with John ja Morant. So you already know we're doing it right now, and I love it. This is a great video idea. If y'all boys want to see anything, y'all put it in the comments below. I read all my stuff. I'm not lying whenever I say that. I read all my comments. I might not heart all of them, but I do read all of them. Let's go. That's our four dunk this game. We're going crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was a really good move. Let's go, John ja Morant. That's our fifth dunk. Means we got five more to go. We locked in right now. I can't lie. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any more dunks. This kid is starting to play in the paint. Um, the only way we can get another dunk is if we can make him jump and then you know we get right past him and dunk the ball. But this kid seems to know what's up. Oh my god, he's not here. Never mind. That's another one. Come on, that's number six. Four more to go. After buying all of that VC, we are already broke. We get to upgrade to an 87 overall. And just by getting to an 87 overall, um, 
It, we it, we just can't. You guys see it says upgrade 67,000 VC. We only have 53,000 VC. So I might just have to go back in there, get three more dunks, call it done. We celebrate and we call it there because, bro, I'm not made of VC. I literally have said it in one of my videos. I want y'all to guess how much I've spent on this game this year. Tax season is coming up, so I'm going to have to add up all of my expenses. And I will let y'all boys know how much I've spent on NBA 2K24 and 2K23, all within 2023, if that makes sense. I'll let y'all boys know. So for uh, the game came out September, September, October, November, December. I'm going to let y'all boys know how much I spent on 24 and then how much I spent on NBA 2K23 from January all the way until August. That's how long that game was out for. But I'm going to let y'all boys know in total and everything. I'm going to break it down. Once I go to the tax, man, which is coming up, you know, in a few months. So um, just keep in mind. But I do want y'all to guess how much y'all think I've spent on the game. I'm really kind of scared to add it up, count it up. It's getting really scary at this point. Uh, my dad is going to literally, um, you know, take away everything if I uh, keep spending money on it. You guys might think people lose their money to gambling or, uh, you know, you know, maybe addictions like vapes or I don't know what other addictions y'all boys have, but no, I lose my money to VC, okay? It's about 50, 60, maybe 70 dollars every single time I make a video. Y'all boys can count it up too. I upload 10 videos every single month. So uh, just do the math on that. That's a lot of money every single month going to this company. Now, it's not something I want to do, but it's something that I do for y'all because it's great content. I love the videos that I make and I'm not able to do it if I don't buy the VC. You feel me? Hey, there's one dunk. Come on. Come on, John Morant. Give me two more. Go out. Yep. Go. Go all the way. Hey, yes, sir. That's number two. We need one more, and that's it. Let's finish it off, Ja. Bitch, let's go and steer it home. Oh, that's hard. And don't forget to enter into my weekly $100 Cash App and PayPal giveaway. It is literally free. All you have to do is follow the rules on the screen. You must be subscribed to my YouTube channel with notifications turned on. You must drop a like on this video. You must be following me on Instagram. It's literally three simple steps. And when you have done all of that, all you have to do is comment done. Don't miss out. The next winner will be announced on February 13th at 7 30 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, if y'all boys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys check out the brand new video on the screen. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Twitter, go do that right now. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.